Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 105 of Direwolf20's Modern Skyblock series. Today I'm cooking up basic flux storage. Uh, because, check this out. Hey, I didn't even know that was a quest, because we didn't even look at it. Uh, but apparently basic flux storage was a quest in the calculator chapter. So advanced calculations had a very small section on uh, flux networks, which is cool. Uh, and luckily my updating of the pack didn't break the quests. So there's that. Yay, dire wolf, not a big fail. Um, so if we wanna take a look at where we're at quest book wise, we are really getting close to the end of all these quests. Um, we need to get into RF tools, but we can't get into that until we get a tier six void ore miner and a tier six lunar array. That's gonna require not a huge amount, but a healthy amount of Ethereum, um, which uh, we have 39 of right now. Um, so if we want a tier six, right, we're gonna need from environmental tech, uh, the tier six void or minor controller needs six blocks of it and the tier six lunar array, wherever that is, uh, that's gonna need four of them. So we're gonna need 10 Atheum blocks in total uh, so that means we're going to basically need 90 Atheum. So we're a little bit more than a third of the way there. It shouldn't be too bad to get. Uh, we are we are getting that pretty rapidly coming in. So with that said, I think we're cool to get into uh, some other quest lines while we're waiting for the Atheum to show up. Right. So to do that, I figured uh, two of the quests that we have left to do, if we want to get into Draconic Evolution, for example, uh, is Advanced Defense and Advanced Calculations. Right, so let's knock out advanced calculations today. And for that, we're going to need the calculator. The basic calculator is used for making basic calculator items. We played with calculator a little bit, uh, the calculator mod in, uh, what was it? Uh, Age of Engineering, yeah, is that right? Does that sound right? I think that sounds right. Uh, so we're gonna need like a bunch of buttons here so that we can make uh, a basic calculator, it needs you. And I think that calculator assembly was part of the quest. Cool. Uh, and then a basic calculator needs a calculator screen. Not too shabby. Cool. And it has energy in it. Nice. So that allows you to... It's basically a crafting component from what I remember. I, I really don't remember this mod all that much. I played with it a little bit, but not like a huge amount. Um, I remember it was a little bit buggy, but that was back in 1.10, so hopefully in 1.12 now some of those minor issues have been solved. It wasn't terrible, just a little bit, um, a little bit minor, incy, teensy bit. Uh, the scientific calculator will allow you to make redstone ingots needed for making pistons as well as a few other calculator items. So the scientific calculator needs enriched gold ingots first. So enriched gold ingots uh, comes from enriched gold, which we're making a calculator with gold and redstone. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Wow, we have a lot of gold and redstone, don't we? So we do this, and then we get that, and that is a lot of enriched gold. That we can then smelt all that, and we'll throw that in there. Um, and that sounds cool. So the scientific calculator uh, just needs a couple more of these, and one of those. And what should be now a fully crafted thing. Oh, we also need reinforced stone, which is stone and wood. So we can get, um, just get like a bunch of this stuff, throw it in here. And then we want wood. And I'm just gonna make a bulk. Did I do this wrong? Scientific calculator needs reinforced stone. It's a calculator. Oh, cobblestone and wood. My bad. Cobblestone and wood. Easy peasy. Ta da! Quest complete. Uh, then we also need calculating atoms, separating blocks, atomic calculations. Okay, cool. So our goal here is to get to the atomic multiplier, which if I remember correctly, is that the one that lets you like basically dupe items? Right, isn't that what that is? 
I feel like that's what it is. Required energy, 1.5 billion RF. So yeah, for like 1.5 billion RF, I think it allows you to dupe items. Does that sound about right? I think it does. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like that's accurate. Um, but let's get into more calculator stuff. The atomic calculator will allow you to make the fire diamonds needed for empowered Restonia crystals. I feel like this quest description is not entirely accurate. So the atomic calculator here, we're going to need an atomic, uh, this dude, oh, we need some tanzanite, huh? Which we might have. Maybe it's about time I do some uh, auto crafting stuff. What do you guys think? Uh, so to make you, we do that. I should probably teach you that just so you have it. Um, and then we're gonna want you to know how to make this. Has to go in here for a minute. Cool. Because auto crafting this will just be that much easier. Okay, and then to make you, we need advanced assemblies. Aha. Okay, so advanced assemblies require reinforced iron ingots, which is a calculator of reinforced stone and iron. So I'm just gonna get a bunch of that stuff and then uh, we'll have it for when we need it, right? So that would be that dude. And then you can be this guy, the atomic assembler. I don't know how many of these we're gonna need but at the very least, it's easier to do that stuff, right? Um, so then, atomic calculator, it doesn't look so bad. So let's get some of, one of these. And then we'll just need one of these. Ta-da, easy peasy. Ish. Easy peasy ish. Hooray! Nice. All right, cool. So let's see if we can remember what this block does. I think he needs power. I don't think we need a large amount of space for this, though I could be completely mistaken. Let's throw this guy over in this general direction. All right, so that's the three piece atomic calculator. Okay. So you can be used for making some more advanced stuff. Right, I remember you. Do you need power? I don't remember if you need power. It doesn't feel like he needs power, right? It doesn't look like it. Um, so to get this, we need analyzing circuits. So where's that? Automating lighting up diamonds. We need the trees, I know that much. Repairing circuits, requires obtaining circuits. Requires separating blocks. There we go, stone separator. So let's get one of those. I remember this bit, cause like you basically throw something in there and we'll see what happens. A couple power cubes and then you're good to go. Stone separator. Yeah, this one needs power. So let's get a flux point here. Removing energy from the network. And what I did do, oh, I already have a bunch of flux points, never mind. Um, is between episodes, I cleaned up the underside of my base quite a bit. You'll notice that there's far fewer uh, universal cables going on here. Basically what I have happening is universal cables, you know, in each grouping of, of machines. So like we have a handful here. Um, for powering all the machines along this line. And then we have a flux point feeding into the universal cable. Cool. So some machines, you know, small amount, some machines more so. Wow, you guys are a lot of bad guys in there, huh? Could have sworn you were lit up. Weren't you lit up? I guess not. I could have sworn I lit you up. Well, you're lit up now. 
All right, so this guy, what I'll do is I'll have a universal cable here uh, with a point ready to go. Power goes in, you're good to go, nice, okay. All right, and then what do we put in there? Um, so if we wanna separate stuff, that looks cool. So stone separator is complete. So now we need to obtain circuits. The precision chamber creates dirty circuits from dirt and damaged circuits from stone. So for a precision chamber, I remember this thing being like a reasonable upgrade. We need reinforced iron blocks, which doesn't seem too bad, an extraction chamber, uh, which doesn't seem too bad, and weakened diamond, which we can get from algorithm separator or a scientific calculator, diamond divided by reinforced. Okay, I think we have a scientific. So diamond divided by reinforced. Reinforced iron, right? Yes, I think that was correct. There we go, and that gets us a stack of the stuff, uh, which we can then use for tools, but we want the precision chamber. So we need an extraction chamber, which needs one of you. Oh wow, we are hilariously low on cobble. Where's all my cobble? Okay, and then reinforced these guys. We'll probably need more of that stuff eventually. Precision chamber, sweet. All right, nice. Okay, so with that, we now have the ability to get circuits. Now you want a restoration and a reassembly chamber. Okay. Then that cleans them up from what I remember. Um, so for that, we're going to need some redstone ingots, which is iron divided by redstone. So iron divided by redstone in the scientific calculator. Cool. we just look for chamber? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Restoration and reassembly is ultimately what we want. So let's get two of these, because I have a feeling that's what we're gonna need. And we'll probably want one, two of these, right? And then the restoration here, and the reassembly here. Nice, all right. Kinda coming back to me, kinda. And we're gonna automate this to the degree that we need to automate it once I remember what we need to make. So analyzing chamber, not you. Doesn't require power to operate, huh? Sweet. So you do need an advanced assembly, which I'm auto-crafting. And then you need some more reinforced iron, which was what again? It was iron divided by reinforced stone. And if it's divided by, then it's that. Did I grab the wrong thing? Iron divided by reinforced stone or is it plus yeah it was plus okay cool all right so for analyzing chamber we're going to need four of you and another easy peasy now that thing says it doesn't need power but something down the line will right and then the atomic multiplier gotcha 
allows you to quadruple stacks of items at the cost of 1.5 billion RF and seven circuits. Keep in mind that creative items, legendary rewards, and items from extracted extended crafting and modular machinery are blacklisted. Cool. Atomic multiplier needs quite a few things. We need calculator plugs, which don't seem too bad. Though you can get them from, an, yeah, it doesn't seem too terrible. So a power cube divided by, okay, so this is quite the crafting recipe. Um, reinforced stone brick plus reinforced stone brick. That gets you your stable stone. But having a multiplier doesn't sound like a terrible thing to have. So we want an atomic assembly and we want a couple atomic modules. Some of this is not terrible to craft automatically. What we do need is more cobblestone. Could have sworn we had cobble going on here somewhere. Okay, and then for the multiplier, the other things that we're going to need here, um, most of that's there. We need an end diamond, which is end stone, electric diamond, and obsidian. Oh, right. Electric diamonds you get from a conductor mast. So we're going to need one of these for sure, which needs two energy modules and a fire diamond, which is diamond, blaze, diamond. So atomic calculator, that stone separator, this guy is what I meant to be clicking on, you, you, and you, and boom, fire diamonds, cool. And then you can be made in a conductor mass into electric diamonds with two energy modules, which is power cubes. I'm just gonna get a bunch of those. Actually, let me hold on to them because I'm gonna need them. Um, and then we're also going to need Purified coal, which is enriched coal, which is coal plus redstone. Okay. Coal plus redstone in our adding calculator is enriched coal, and that plus that gold stuff, right? Was it plus? No, it was divided by for purified. Cool. And then you plus that equals the energy module, right? I feel like we're gonna need a few of these, so let's get them. And then you, one of you, and you is a conductor mast, which I remember you can feed power into, if I'm not mistaken. Does that make sense? Like it's meant to be like a power generator, but I could have sworn there was a way to feed power into it. Wasn't there a way to, f so wait time is, I think it like lightning strikes it and it'll generate power. If I'm not mistaken. And then that power is what gets fire diamonds turned into electric diamonds. I thought there was a way to feed power into the thing though. Awaiting first strike, yes. So in about 20 seconds, we'll get a lightning strike here, but I could have sworn there was a way to feed power into the thing. Though I might just be misremembering. It's been, how long since my uh, Age of Engineering series? I don't even know. A really long time though is what I suspect. So three, two, one, lightning strike. Hey, there you go, nice. So that generates a bunch of RF, which then 
creates the crafting recipe to do that. That ain't so bad. So do we get like two of these per? Yeah, two of these electric diamonds per. Nice. Lightening up diamonds. Cool. All right, cool. So then um, for the multiplier, uh, we needed end diamonds, which is obsidian and endstone. So I'll put you away. We'll take a, not a giant obsidian, but a single piece of obsidian and end stone. And diamond, sweet, cool. All right, so then the last couple things we need for the atomic multiplier, which I think I might get some use out of to be fair, fabrication chamber, which doesn't look so bad. So two reinforced iron blocks plus a reinforced iron chest. Okay. We're gonna need more reinforced iron, I suspect, which was iron plus reinforced stone. Iron plus reinforced stone, which we should probably get more of that as well, which was cobblestone and wood, right? Cobblestone, which, wow, I am surprised that we don't have something somewhere automating cobble for us. You would think that would be a thing that I had. All right, so you, sir, make that. You know what? While I'm at it, let's put away you. Let's put away you. And that should be cool. Good, you retain your inventory. Sweet. Okay, so we're totally going to want like eight of these if I'm not mistaken. Maybe more. Uh, but we're going to want... One of you, which then can be upgraded with two reinforced iron blocks around it in this guy. Ah, there's your problem. I was like, where did those extras go? I made extras on purpose, right? And then this, and we need two calculator plugs, which needs two more energy modules, right? Which is you plus your purified. Maybe it was divided by. I always forget which calculator for which. Cool. Okay. So, and then we need this and that, and we need some advanced assemblies times four. So one more of you. Right, and that shouldn't be too bad of a recipe. You and you and calculator plugs. I remember like that being a really cool way to get lots of power, but hey, long story short, we got this thing cooking, which is nice. And you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put power directly on you um, because um, this thing is gonna have like a nice little buffer of power. Ultimate universal cables have a limit. This guy can have no limit if I want him to. Uh, so that's neat. Sweet. Okay. So that's going to do its thing. He'll charge up with an internal buffer, which is no big deal because we're generating lots of power. Um, wow, out point 1.02 megajoules, which is what? How much? 409,000 RF. Sweet. Is that the limit based on what we're allowed to do? Yeah, I think that is the limit based on the induction casing. To do will be a draconic orb. But hey, that's all the calculator quests. Um, we never got into circuits or really having to produce them, which is fine with me. Uh, though if I want to multiply things, as I recall, we are going to need circuits. Uh, so we might need to automate that at some point. But for now, I'm going to hold off. But that completes advanced calculations which is cool which means that now we just need advanced defense in order to unlock draconic tier stuff so we're already at 60 athium crystals so let's turn those into six athium like that so now if i want to make a tier six void or minor right which i do my problem is, is that I don't want to use the tier five that I have because I don't have enough atheum to make the tier six void or minor be a thing. So in order to make this, we should probably just start 
from a brand new void or minor, right? So let's get a void or minor controller mark one, right? Uh, and then hopefully we can just upgrade you. So let's get a few lenses, right? And then you also need some diamond blocks, which shouldn't be too big a deal. Five, am I correct? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's five that I need. Hey, Sagmill, yeah, you cook up some more diamonds for me, would you? In fact, cook up a bunch more diamonds for me, would you? All right, so then you get upgraded with Erodium, right? And hopefully we have enough for this. Cool. And then you get upgraded with Chironite. And then you get upgraded with Palladium. I'm thinking we'll have enough of this. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, that's the four, so then you need Ionite, which hopefully we should have enough of by now. Let's see, how are we for environmental tech? Uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good on Ionite. Right, and then you get the Atheum tiles. Sweet, void or minor controller. Mark six, that's cool. All right, so with environmental tech now, we are one step of the way to completion. Uh, let's sleep through this yucky rainy night. And the next thing that I want to do is work towards, I want to see if I can at least get the, the lunar thing unlocked. So to make a lunar dude, I need you to know how to make lunar voltaic cells. So you're that with floral red powder or rose red. Uh, I think we're gonna need a lot of that. Um, and then a lunar array controller is gonna need mica. Oh, you seem like you might need a lot of mica. How are we from mica? Not um, what I would call a lot of mica. We may need a lot of mica. Should we math this out? Because I did not account for needing this much mica. I didn't realize mica was involved in the lunar array controller recipe. Uh, so to make this, we're going to need three for one of these, right? Um, so that means you need 15 mica. plus 12 more, right? Uh, so that would be 27, plus 12 more, which would be 39, plus 12 more, which would be 51, plus 12 more, which would be 64, plus 12 more, which would be 78 mica. So as an experiment, Granted, this is a ridiculous use of this machine, but uh, we need we need things, right? Um, so are you moving? Yeah, you're just really slow. Speed from calculator. What's involved in that? Calculator's speed upgrade is. Uh, okay. And then I can use you for what? Processing or restoration? I don't know what the, really the difference is. I guess restoration's where I want to be. Yeah, that seems a little bit slower to me than I would want. Uh, let's get a chest. Iron chest sounds good. I don't think you auto output to the top here. 
So let's get an ultimate logistical transporter so that you might, hey. That sounds, oh, no, why would you do that? Don't do that, no, bad. Bad. Blacklist. Dirt. That should be cool. Uh, go. Extract. Explain. Dyer has a confused look on his face. So the mechanism pipe pulled out both inventory slots and this one's pulling out neither. That's cool. But I think I can get pretty much any seven circuits if I'm not mistaken. So not you, but if I put you in there, you should be satisfied, right? So let's try something here. Can I put you here with you? Where'd my servo go? Totally had a servo, right? I'm not making that up. Didn't I have a servo on that thing? We'll just do the thing. Okay, there it is. It was just invisible for some reason. So are you also not pulling out from there? Oh, you're killing me. Killing me! Why wouldn't you pull out? Come on. Servo, please. Uh, item duct? Conduit thingy? So down can be extract always active, and east can be insert not extract. Huh. Huh. So one more thing to try here. Can we pull out the bottom? Insert, not extract, and you are extract always active. Huh. I remember there being some weirdness with the way you're allowed to pull out of these inventories, but I don't remember it being that weird. Yeah, see, so you're pulling the dirt out. I don't want you to pull dirt out. That's not ideal. That's the last block I want pulled out of there. So weird that mechanism can pull from both inventory slots, but Ender.io and Thermal can't pull from either? That's weird. Hmm. And I tried pulling from pretty much all sides. Except for the front. That would be like hyper weird, right? So east would be extract always, and this would be insert. Let's throw some dirt in there. Yep, nothing doing. Strange. Ah, uh, okay. So the one last thing we could try. Let's get a hopper. Because I remember that being kind of a thing. Yeah, see, the hopper's not pulling out from it either, at least not on the bottom. And that's where I would expect a hopper to work, right? Doubly strange. All right, so we're gonna have to figure that out. Uh, these guys all go into what? The restoration chamber, is that right?
So I'm just curious if I can dupe this stuff with this thing. So if I could automate these circuits, that would be nice. 1.5 billion RF is a lot, by the way, but not like that much of a lot. That's right, I remember some of these circuits being different somehow. Um, none of these are analyzed, but I think that's okay. Some of them glow for a reason that I don't fully remember. So what do I need that? Are you running now? You would appear to be. Ha ah, I mean, it works. Um, and it might be a little bit faster than upgrading my void or miner. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to do this. I mean, 1.5 billion RF is a lot of RF. But at the same time, like, we're doing okay on power, you know. I mean, we have... We have a decent amount of power, and our quantum solars are doing a great job, right? So is 1.5 billion RF a lot? Yes. Um, is it doable? Also yes. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the, the, the trick here is not the power. It's going to be the, the automating of the restoration chamber and, and cleaning up these circuits. Um, so what I could do, right, let's do this. If I really wanted to be sneaky, which I do. Let's hope that you're really good about knowing what's allowed to go into what. Uh, what if we put some ultimate universal or ultimate logistical transporters here? Right, so you're a restoration chamber. What if I did Ah, the restoration chamber knows what it's allowed to have. So with this, the mechanism cable can extract because this dirt can go into the drawer, but only this dirt, and only a dirty circuit can go into here. Aha, right? Uh, now, for the next question, will you be really stupid? You are really stupid. Good job, stupid. Ugh. Killing me, Smalls. All right, so if you're gonna be really stupid like that, then what we're gonna to need to do is limit what's allowed to be put into here. So that's a thing. So we'll have to keep an eye on this bit. So you're gonna be, I'm gonna look into like what's involved with the restoration chambers and getting the proper sidedness going because there must be a way to properly extract the right item out of here but if i could start processing these circuits that would be cool um because it would allow me to dupe the mica a lot easier um the, the rf will be kind of a problem but not that much of a problem um so it quadruples it right so we're gonna need I mean, it's it's not doubling, it's quadrupling. That's not terrible. What is that, like 16, 17, 18 iterations? So I mean, that's not a huge amount of RF. That's doable. The other option, uh, obviously, would be upgrading this dude, which is, you know, at the moment, shouldn't be too bad. I could probably do that. Could I get like a tier five resource miner going? Yeah, why don't I work on that off camera? We'll get a tier five void or resource miner. Uh, I should be able to make a tier five resource miner. Because I already have a three, right? So I think that's what I'll do. Um, for now, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time. We will uh, play further with these mods and decide how we're going to get a bunch of mica. I'll probably just do it off camera, get bunches of mica. Um, and that shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Get some mic off camera. And then we'll come back. Uh, maybe we'll have a, you know, tier 5 void resource miner. And then we can get into, you know, completing that quest. And I also want to check out advanced defense. So we can get into Draconic. So that might be next episode too. For now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.